So I'm working from home now, like many of you, and I'm discovering that my workspace isn't really great, or it should say it wasn't great. Like many of you, I spend a lot of time at my desk, and the more I worked at my desk, the more I realized it is tough. It's not the best setup. My desk is a little uncomfortable. My chair is not so great. You know, my, my equipment's a little outdated, and every time I worked on something, each one of those things was slowing me down. And, you know, I don't know, like any of you, I don't have a lot of extra time. We have our son he's running around all the time. We're trying to, you know, get out of the house every once in a while, see the sunlight. And spending time at your desk and having a good workflow is really important. So here are some of the things that I've updated in my studio to make it a really great place to work. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chase. My wife Malia and I run this channel and it is all about singing. So I spend a lot of time editing audio, video, and basically just at this desk. So I'm not gonna go through every single piece of equipment I have, like all my guitars and my amps and pedals and stuff like that, but I do wanna just show off some of the things I put on my desk to help me stay on task. This audio interface is an Apollo Mark II. It is an amazing machine. I'm actually just borrowing it to see if I want to step into the universal audio world. I got this Novation Launch Key 25 because I'm not a huge piano player, but I do need it sometimes in order to just type in things via MIDI. It's a great little product. It does pretty much everything I need. I can program it to do anything, and it's small enough to fit on top of my desk. I recently upgraded to this M1 Mac Mini. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of hard hard drive space. It's amazing. We actually have a much bigger, you know, more expensive iMac because we thought that's what the, all the creators used, but when I got this thing, it's kind of outperforming it. So if you're a content creator and you, you know, are tight on cash for a computer, I can't recommend that high enough. This is a 32 inch LG monitor but my favorite part about it is honestly the arm. I can pull it out and stand up and do all kinds of things and it's just amazing. Because I teach from home and I do a lot of things virtually, I needed a really nice webcam. So I got a Logitech webcam and it's amazing. It's all linked below if you wanna check it out. While I teach, I use an SM7B on a mic arm on a microphone arm. It's really awesome, it's you know easy to move. The microphone arm isn't so great, I'm hoping to get a nicer one, but the SM7B is a wonderful, magical thing that I love very much. My previous studio monitors actually died recently and so I got to upgrade to these Genelec 1030As. They are really, really nice. I, I can definitely tell a the difference. They're smaller, they're lighter. You know, I'm a beginner, so I don't know all the ins and outs, but I, uh, I'm really happy with them. My favorite thing about my computer is literally the keyboard and the mouse. I was going to go completely Mac uh, keyboard and Mac mouse. I was looking for the black uh, keyboard that was for the Mac iMac Pro and stuff like that. They don't even make it anymore. But the more I did my research, the more I actually really liked these two products from Logitech. This is the MX Master Keys and the MX Master 3 Mouse. Um, I got the keyboard that was specifically for Mac and so I can have all my hot buttons and, and I can lock the screen in the top right corner. And I just, I just love it. I have all my gestures with the mouse. I think the mouse is the most amazing thing in the world and it, speeds up my workflow like you wouldn't believe. All these gestures that I used to have with the touchpad, I can program easily into my mouse. You can even program certain buttons to do specific things within each app. So if I'm in Logic, some buttons will do a certain thing, and then if I go over to Final Cut Pro, those buttons will now do a different thing for video editing. And it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. So I can't recommend those two things higher. So my final upgrade that is actually the most exciting thing to me as of right now is this desk. I was working on a kitchen table that I got for free on Facebook Marketplace. Don't get me wrong, I did a lot of work at that table slash desk, but this is pretty sweet. This is a standing desk by FlexiSpot. I actually got this desk specifically because I can get a lot of weight on top of this desk. It can lift up to 220 pounds with the FlexiSpot motor. So if I wanted to put my monitors on the desk, mounted on the desk, if I want to add a bunch of studio gear onto the desk, I'm not worried about it breaking the motor. My desk is the 55 inch wide, 28 deep, 
bamboo top and I really like it. I think it matches my stuff and it kind of looks like the table I had but a little bit nicer. The most important part of this desk and my favorite thing about it is that it is a standing desk. We spend hours at our computers and I was starting to feel it. My legs hurt, my back hurts. So instead of buying a thousand dollar or five hundred dollar chair, I just got a nicer desk and I'm already enjoying it. Working standing up has not only made me more productive, but with teaching, I can stand and play guitar much easier. I can show my students exactly what I'm doing a lot easier, and it's just more enjoyable. The motor has three presets, so you can program them to go whatever height you would like, and it even has a function where it will remind you to stand up if you've been sitting for a long time. So a huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sending me this desk. It's been a huge upgrade to my studio. If you would like to upgrade your desk to a standing desk, I highly recommend FlexiSpot. I have a link below if you wanna go check it out. So there's my studio and you don't need to buy everything I have here. It's not about that. What it is about is making a space that you want to work in. I've never enjoyed working and being at my desk more than I do right now. So now you know some of the, my favorite things about my workspace, but I'd love to know what's your favorite part of your workspace. Is it your chair? Is it your monitor? Is it your cat? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We make new videos every week. I'm Chase from Chase and Malia. We'll see you soon.